Hello guys, welcome back to yet another video. So Google have started releasing QPR Beta 2 for Pixel smartphones. So in this video, let's find out what all changes we guys gonna see on QPR Beta 2. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here I have my Pixel 6a on which I have installed this build. First of all, let me show you the software information. If you go to about section, scroll down and about section, you can see our device is Pixel 6a. And if you tap on Android version, Android version is 13. Now QPR 2 and stable build for Pixel devices do have the 5th Jan 2023 security patch. And the build number is .006. Before talking about the change logs, let's talk about the benchmark results. So we'll compare the benchmarks with the previous build too. So here you can see these are the results from stable build and this one from QPR Beta 2. Where we have almost exactly similar scores, not much of difference. But I did notice a little bit of difference in CPU throttling test. Let me open up the screenshot. So this was a screenshot taken on stable build where you can see maximum CPU only throttled up to 55. And on this latest build, maximum CPU throttled up to 52. So throttling issues I have always been seeing on Pixel smartphone. I mean to say specifically my Pixel 6a. And guys, before moving ahead, if you like our content and think it's useful to you, then hit subscribe and smash that like button because it will motivate us to do better content with quality. Okay, one of the major change which I was waiting on Pixel smartphones and that's layer to 5G connectivity. So guys, 5G connectivity was still not available on Jan security patch which was released for stable builds. But on this build which is QPR2, here we do get the support of 5G now. As you can see here, 5G is being supported on this particular build. I know Google is too late, most of the OEMs have released this 5G update long back. But if you guys want to try out 5G and if you're planning to move to QPR Beta 2, then what you have to do is, then you have to go to this website called developers.android.com and from here you need to enroll to QPR Beta 2. So here we have the supported devices list. If your device is listed here, just tap on enroll in beta for pixel and after that you will be redirected to the enrollment page. And here you have your eligible device for me. My device was Pixel 6a, so I have opted it. And once you opt it, you just have to go to system, system update, and you will be able to get new update of QPR Beta 2. You just have to check for the system update, that's it. And according to Telegram group of Google News, there are few changes which they have mentioned, but I wasn't able to find it on my device. But one of the changes layered to the tablets or foldable devices. So here, let me change the DP so that I can show you the what all changes have been done for tablets and foldable devices. So for example, let's keep it 620 or 621. There are two changes done. One is in the app drawer and the second one is in the taskbar. So one change, let me show you the recent page. Here you can see now we have a completely new design for the recent page and in the app drawer also now the app drawer only uses the half screen so these are the two changes what you guys gonna see on foldable and tablets from pixel after that now google pixel launcher is experimenting with the option of automatic generating themed icon because not every developer is showing their interest in helping google get themed icon so here google have force enabled mono icon feature in the launcher developer settings i wasn't able to find it out on my pixel 6a but if in future if i get to know about this i'll let you know guys in another video after that they have also added unicode 15 emojis again this was also i'm not able to find it on my device and another change what you guys gonna see and that's layer to the volume slider so here you can see if you see this photo the volume slider length is increased and also there is a different icon for the rigging mode that's not available on our device let me show you if i just press the volume key we still have the older icon as you can see here so we might get to see this change in the upcoming builds. So these are some of the changes which Google have mentioned. And now talking about the changes which I have noticed on my Pixel 6a. So one of them is related to the home tab. Here you can see now we get to see the home icon in front of my text which I have written. For example, Bangalore House. On the previous update, this wasn't the case. Only text was to be seen. And the next change under quick setting tiles now on this QPR2 got this tile enabled. On previous build, this was grayed out for me in the quick setting tiles. Talking about the another change and that's related to the at glance. So slight position have been changed here. If you see the at glance on the home screen, this is on QPR beta 2. And let me show you the screenshot of the stable build. So I have taken this screenshot. If I go back, 
going to screenshot and here you can see the change at glance have been moved slightly towards the top side on qpr beta 2 little bit of repositioning have been done and i can also see little bit of changes in the text moving on to the app drive so here also there is a change done you can see if you open the app drive and if you scroll down here the animation gets changed and you get to see this voice icon camera and towards the left hand side google icon which wasn't the case on previous build towards the left hand side you can see that screen recording and another thing if you scroll down the app drive the keyboard again pops up so again and again you don't have to tap on the search bar to access the keyboard another minor change what you guys gonna see and that's related to the app installation animation so here you can see this is the animation which appears on the latest build and if you see there is no gap between the progress bar and the app icon but if i show you the previous screenshot which was taken on the stable build this is how it looks i'll put this on the screen and you guys can see the comparison between both these icons so guys these are some of the changes which we have noticed on qpr beta 2 if i have missed out anything because i don't use excel as my primary phone then do let me know in the comment section below as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys are gonna like the video if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up and also if you're new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day